In this video, we'll show you how to rebuild Crank Brothers pedals using a Crank Brothers refresh kit. Calvin Jones here, Park Tool Company. Before we get into the pedals, let's talk about where the drivetrain really begins. It's at the shoe. The shoe is where your body meets the bike. Now your Park Tool socks, we could exclude them, but the shoe and the pedal should be considered a unit. We could do a whole video on this, we won't get into that, but at least make sure those cleat bolts are tight. Good. Now onto the pedals. Pedal service should be considered a routine maintenance procedure. The first thing to check is the tightness of the fasteners on the pedal body. Also check the bearings. Begin by giving them a spin. It should feel relatively smooth. Finally, check the play between the pedal body and axle. A little play is common, but a pedal with too much play should be rebuilt. Typical tools for Crank Brothers service include appropriate wrenches including a socket tool, hex wrenches, and Torx compatible wrenches, a flathead screwdriver, a vise and axle insert, a hammer, a punch, sockets to use as bearing drivers, a seal pick, thread locker, grease and rags, and a Crank Brothers refresh kit. There are a few different pedal designs from Crank Brothers, but the service aspects are fairly similar. The company provides what they call a pedal refresh kit with new bearings, bushings, and seals. Install the pedal in an axle vise. If you don't have a vise, you can leave it on the crank. Remove the dust cap counterclockwise. Under this cap is a nylock nut. Use a socket tool to remove it also counterclockwise. Pull the pedal body from the pedal axle. Remove the seal on the axle and wipe the axle clean. After cleaning both axles, you can see that one axle is badly scored and rough. It may be worth servicing, but know that the pedal will never feel smooth. The other axle is an example of normal wear. On the pedal body, the outboard bearing needs to come out. It is a slip fit, but sometimes needs some pushing from the inside. Use a long punch and tap both sides and it should come out willingly. Inboard is another bearing. Crank Brothers provides a simple driver with the refresh kit, specifically sized for the bore of the pedal. You will need to elevate the pedal on something that will support the pedal body while allowing the bearing to exit. Depending on the model of the pedal, you may have to pull apart the pedal body to get access to the seals inboard of the bearings. Remove the old seal using a seal pick. Wipe clean and install the new seals. Grease inside each seal and reassemble the pedal body. The pedal body bolts are a good place to use a thread locker such as the Park Tool TLR1. Crank Brothers recommended torque value for this pedal body bolt is 2.5 newton meters, which is just snug. From the rebuild kit, Install the appropriate bushings into the pedal body. Lead with the tapered end. You'll need to find something to use as a guide, such as an 8mm hex socket. Tap the bushing in straight. Drive it home by using an object that closely matches the outside diameter of the bushing, such as a 10mm socket. Install the new seal on the axle. Grease the axle Insert it into the pedal body. 
From the rebuild kit, install a new cartridge bearing. Reinstall the pedal onto an axle vise or use a hex wrench in the back of the axle to hold it secure. Reinstall the nylock nut and tighten it until you feel it bottom out at approximately four newton meters. Install the dust cap from the new rebuild kit. Repeat the process on the other pedal. Thanks for watching this repair help video from Park Tool. We're constantly adding videos and articles here on YouTube as well as our website at parktool.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And of course, subscribe to the latest content from Park Tool.